we're going to talk about the balance sheet adjustment tool, early beta. So we're going to turn that feature on. And we're also going to go into batch pro and we're going to turn on copy Excel to transactions because we're actually going to use both of these transactions in tandem. But the focus here is on balance sheet adjustment tool because it's the brand new feature that we're showcasing. So we're going to go into a uh, QuickBooks balance sheet and we'll pick a particular period that we want to choose. So let's say we want to pick February 29th. And uh, once you have your balance sheet up in the screen, I recommend that you don't do a comparison, just do the regular balance sheet. And you have some final numbers in there as of the date of the adjustment that you want to make. So once we have the balance sheet up and running, we're going to make sure we have this feature on. We'll save and refresh and go back into our balance sheet. And now we're going to see a button that says adjust. That adjust button essentially gives me the ability to change any numbers in the balance sheet and then create a journal entry to adjust them. I want to add a couple more things. If you want to include uh, accounts that are in your chart of accounts, but they're not here, maybe because they have, don't have any activity, you want to click on uh, rows, show rows all and click on run. That way it's going to include some of the accounts that don't have any activity, just in case you need to adjust those as well. One thing I recommend also going, going to customize and uncheck except zero amount. Uh, that way that there's no blanks and you know exactly which field you're going to be modifying. There has to be a dollar amount for this feature to work. Okay, so now my balance sheet is up. I'm ready to make adjustments to it. I'm going to click on the adjust button. When I click on adjust, two things happen. Once you're going to see a little box here uh, on the left hand side that sort of keeps track of what's being adjusted and there's buttons that do different things. Also, you're going to see every field in your balance sheet is going to be editable. You should be ignoring all the totals because QuickBooks can, cannot adjust to totals, but any individual dollar amounts you see here, you can adjust to whatever balance you want. So let's say, for example, I want this first one to be zero and I want this, this one to be uh, 50,000 and I want this one to be 75,000. I want this one to be negative 5,000. So as you could tell, I can just put 150. I can put whatever dollar amounts I want. And essentially this is in each line is going to tell you what the adjustment would be. So in order to get to this number, you have to debit this amount. In order to get to this number, you have to debit this amount and so forth. So as you go back, go down your balance sheet and you make all your adjustments, whatever adjustments you need to make, get whatever dollar amounts you need to make as you go through and do these every it keeps track of every single thing that you need to adjust and then here on the left hand side on this box it tells you what are the total debits and the total credits and the, the balancing entry at the end that you would have to make you have to choose what account obviously to charge against uh, but that essentially just lets you know if you make if you want the numbers to be that final result then all you have to do is create a journal entry that contains all of these pieces of information that are um, displayed in there. So once we're finished, we can either export the journal entry. So if I click on that, it creates um, an Excel, a CSV file. So I'm going to bring that in so you get an idea for what that looks like. There we go. Drag that. So you see all of the accounts being affected. We see all of the debits, all of the credits, and you even see all the notes. So the notes say what the original dollar value was, what you're adjusting it to, um, you know, based on what date of the balance sheet and the actual date that you've made the adjustment. So it automatically adds that memo for you. You can edit that, of course. That's why we give you a CSV file. Uh, the other interesting thing is if you, you know, if you want, you want to just go straight into your journal entry and paste that, you actually don't have to copy and paste from a CSV. I'm going to close that. And then instead of that, I can just click here. It says copy to clipboard. So instead of exporting to Excel, if I don't need to make any changes, I just copy it to the clipboard and then click on open journal entry and new tab. And then what happens is a new tab gets open with the new journal entry screen. It's going to be a blank journal entry, but using the uh, paste to journal entry feature. So I'm going to uh, click on that button and then my pop up so I can paste from the clipboard will show up. And I just come in here and I paste and it creates that journal entry for me automatically. So all I have to do is at this point, just double check this is right. Click on paste into QuickBooks and it actually 
does the entire a, a workflow from making the adjustment, copying it to the clipboard, to finally pasting it into your journal entry. So I'm gonna pick a date that matches that report. I'll just go back to the report for a second. So you're gonna see that these numbers are going to be adjusted. I'll just click on refresh here for a second, just so we go back to the, the original numbers, how they were, if you remember how the numbers were, these are the unadjusted numbers. But then once I go back into my journal entry and I click on save or, or save and close, I should be able to go back into my uh, balance sheet, click refresh, and now we're gonna see all the numbers as they are adjusted. So essentially this feature, that's what it does. It helps you quickly adjust your balance sheet or, or quickly create a worksheet to adjust your, your balance sheet, create the journal entry, and then post a journal entry. Of course, that requires some, some accounting thought to decide, okay, what should be the last line that's being adjusted? why you're adjusting it, all these things, you have to apply all this accounting knowledge and experience. You can't just willingly adjust a balance sheet, but at least if you know what you're doing and why you're doing it, we create a conduit for you to do it super fast. Thank you, I hope that was helpful.